So at this part of the at this part in the conversation, at this point in the conversation, I'm telling them, yeah, let's do it. They're saying, yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go to your business page real quick. C C A yeah, and then click on the link. Yeah, in the intro. In the intro, the name, my name. So I tell them I'm gonna go to your business page real quick and I'm gonna request access. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna request access to run one single ad. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, so I run it from my account, but from your page. So I have to request access to your page. So I'm gonna copy the link there at the top. Copy the link, the URL. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your business settings. Open up a new tab, go to business settings. Okay, so now on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on pages and then you're gonna click on add. So all you're gonna do is click on pages and click on add. So now you're requesting access to their page. So click on the blue one, add, the blue button. Oh, wait. Oh, here, okay. Yes. Okay, add. Request access to a Request page. Request access to a page. And then I put you. Yeah, paste. And then it. I scroll. Just, and I just toggle create ads. You just right? toggle create ads. That's it. So go ahead and do that. Create ads. And then request access. Okay. So now, now what you tell them, now what you tell them is you say, okay, okay, Dave, now share your screen. Okay, so now, now you're going to close that. Go ahead and click close, close, but leave this page here because we need to come back to this one. Okay, so okay. now you're going to tell me, okay, David, go ahead and share your screen. I'm going to walk you through on where to find the notification. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm, you're going to tell me, okay, David, go to your business page. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll go to my business page. And then on the left-hand side, on the left-hand side, you're going to see settings right here bottom left so i'm in the admin of my business page you're walking me through you're telling me to click on mm -hmm. settings and then you're telling me to click on page roles so you click on settings and then right here to the left page roles and then as i click on page roles over here to the right i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to see your name so right here pending partner request best wa i respond to request i click on continue. I click accept request. I put in my password. Always make sure the password is put in. If they don't put in the password, you don't have access. So always make sure you put the password in. So boom, I just granted you access. And so now at any time I can op come over here and just remove you right at any time. And I tell them that too. I say, Hey, John, don't even trip, man. You can always remove me. Like I'm not, I don't have access to your private information. I ain't seen all these chicks that are emailing, messaging, right? I, I can't see none of that. All I'm doing is I'm going to run this ad. That's the only access I have. And if anything, if it makes you feel better when the ad's over, just come over here and remove me, you know? So I even tell that to them, just remove yeah. me. And then I, I tell them all the time that I, I end up removing myself anyways, after the ad is done, I come in to my business settings and I, and I, and I remove, um, so look, so now I just responded to the, re to the request. I put in my password. Now you're going to say, okay, cool, cool, Dave. That's all I needed. Now you're going to go back to your screen. So go ahead and share screen. Now you're going to go back to your business settings. You're going to refresh this page right here. It says it's pending. So go ahead and refresh mm -hmm. it. And now you'll see that permission has been given. And so now what you're going to always, always yeah. do, this is super important. What you're going to always, always do is add people. You have to click on add people to the right and then add your name. You'll see your name in the top left. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to toggle on the create ads. That's all you requested. So that's the only one you're going to toggle on. So create ads, right. assign, click it, assign, and that's it. Now, now as you go and run an ad. So now as you go and run an ad, hit done. Click on the three lines. And are you ad. running? Huh? Are you running the, um, like, are, am I still on the call with her or do I say, okay, I'm going to get this going for you here in just a little bit, or are yep. you still that's on, what you, no, on no, the no, call? That's what you say. That's what you're saying. Yep. That's what you're saying. Okay. 
Yeah. So you're doing all this without her. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Great talking to you. I'll get everything started now. And by the way, what credit card do you want to, do you want to run the ad on? Oh, Visa. Okay, cool. If you can just go four numbers at a time, please. And that's how I get the card. So that's how I get the card. I get it at the very end right here. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and process this. I'll send you an email confirming the ad. I'll also send you an email of the ad. And then I'll also send you an email of how to link everything for step one. That's a video that I put up on my YouTube channel. You can watch that video and it'll walk you through how to link everything, how to set up your customized social media platforms and how to list them all on your personal Facebook page and your business page. That's a YouTube video, Anastasia, you need to do next. How to customize your social media links for real estate. And all you're doing is you're sharing your screen and, t- and walking me through. I'll show you how I do it right now. Actually, I'll send you the video that I did. Do the same video. Yeah. Do the same video. I'll watch that. Okay. Because, because that's added value. Okay. So I'm telling the client, I'm saying, hey, okay, cool. I got your credit card. Awesome. Everything is in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and hang up and I'm going to get started on everything. I'm going to send you three emails. One email is going to be the video for step one. That's going to walk you through. It's a YouTube video. I have a YouTube channel. So you're going to be able to watch that and link everything in two minutes. That's going to help you set everything up super quick. You'll get that in an email. Second email you're going to get is an email of the actual ad. So the, the, the image, the, the actual ad, I'm going to send you a link to the actual ad. You click on it, you'll see the ad in the newsfeed. That's email number two. Okay. And then email number three is a simple um, receipt as you, as you um, process that credit card. There should be a receipt that goes out. So that's the third email. Okay, so, so okay. that's why I tell them, okay, great. Have a great day. I'll be a message away if you need anything. Talk to you soon. And that's it. And then, and then what I do too, though, what I do is super, super important, super, super important. What I do is I, is I, is now that I have act. Okay. And I, and I do this after, after I've already hung up with them, after I've already hung up with them, watch right now, you have access to my page, go click, get out of, um, get out of here. I actually click on, click on, click on view page to the right, top, right view page. Even though you only have access for create ads, you actually, you actually have access for create ads and view. It said something else, view something else. So now that I have access to the page, I already hung up with them. I already processed the credit card. I'm getting ready to run the ad and set everything up. What I also do, this is the last part. I click on settings to the left. Settings. Mm-hmm. This is their page. I'm going to their page. I'm clicking on settings. I'm clicking on notifications. Top left, notifications. Oh yeah, I remember this and turning off so that they're not being notified yes. every time somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Page, so, the, yeah. yeah. So, so if you scroll down, whatever. yeah, but you got to know where it's at. Scroll down, show more and it's right there. New likes. So I'm turning that off just for the time being, because this ad is going to blow up and I don't want them getting a notification every two seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I yeah. turn it off without them even knowing they don't care. They don't even know. So I just come in here. I turn it off new likes. That's it. Um, okay. So um, that's all I really do. And, and, and in this case, I tell them all the time as well. I'm, I run it from my ad account. That's why I'm charging you. Facebook's going to charge me. I run it from my ad account because this is a one-time ad. It's, I'm only going to run this ad one time. I run it from your business page. And, and, if, and if, if I were to show you how to set this up and run it in your account, then that's a whole coaching program right there. I'm going to have to teach you how to set up your business manager. I'm going to teach you how to set up your ad account, how to put your credit card in. There's so many more things to learn. Mm-hmm. That's what I tell them. And it's true. It's true. There's so much more that you're going to, that I'm right. going to show yeah. you if you're going to run yep. this ad through your ad account. But that is all part of my coaching program. And that's what I start to teach you as I coach you on more Facebook advertising. Right. And that's, that's just okay. me. That's my later, that's my, my, that's the plan that you're on, for example. Right. But in your case, you right. probably won't be doing all right. that. You'll probably just be running this one like that, you know, and, and that's, right. that's another thing. That's, that's another thing. Say, Hey, well, we run this like honestly, my thought is, is if they want more coaching, I'm going to tell them like, Hey, Jump you know, my team. that's yep. a whole, co- yep. I don't offer that, yep. but, um, you know, I do have somebody that does offer that. And mm-hmm. so if you're interested in, more of a coaching program so that you're able to start doing and navigating, you know, more ads for yourself, Mm -hmm. then let me link to the person that I use. And then I'm going to send them your way because I definitely do not want to, 
I'm not trying to build a business on that at all. Like that, yeah, I'm just going to sure. send yeah, them to exactly. you. And yeah. And, all, and, and be good. We'll make it. We'll, yeah. We'll make up a, we'll make up a, a little comp plan for, for you and I, and yeah, that, that part's easy. That part's easy. So yeah, for sure. Go back to the Facebook okay. one real quick. The 75 at the top, the tab 75, open up that one real quick, the business settings. So now, now you have access, you see here in your business settings, you have access to their page, you tied your name mm -hmm. to the page, and now you're good. So now as you go and, and hit the three lines and you go to the ads manager, as you're going through the ads manager, it'll ask you which page do you want to run it from? Okay. And that happens on, on, I believe oh, the second, the second, what? Is it in the drop down up here? Is that what you're meaning? No, you're running, you're running it from your account. So it's, you're going to see your account there. Hit create, click create. Just go, um, go, go engagement. Just go with engagement for now. Engagement and then continue. Okay. So now as you come in, and, and if it's real estate, for sure, you'll always go housing. So special ad category housing, and then just hit next. And then up here, when I change this to, you know, David, Page likes. Yep. Like exactly. yep, yep, yeah. yeah. So housing hit next. And then um, over here on the second step, scroll down. Mm -hmm. It's either on the second or the third. It's actually on the third. So click on the third to the left, top left, third, the third step down to the left, you have your three, yeah, right here. Okay, so it's on the third step where you choose the page. So right there, Facebook page, just hit the drop down, and then you'll see mine, and that's yep. it. Okay. 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 So that's how you request access to someone's when I'm Facebook all, business page. When I'm all done with this, can I, where did that go? Um, there was a spot there that said, I'm going to X out of this option right here to mm -hmm. if i can if i'm over here on yours mm -hmm. and hit remove that remove me from, they won't have to go and remove me It'll exactly just remove me yep okay. so go ahead and remove okay. go ahead and remove this one yeah yeah so i don't have to okay. worry about anything you're removing it and that's what i do i just come in here when the ad's over i just remove myself i don't even need access to the page anymore because yeah. in my case yeah. when that person comes back for coaching I'm not requesting access to their page again. Anyways, I'm going to start teaching them how to do it out of their account. So I only needed it for this like ad now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I only needed it for that. Like ad. now for those that are actually running consistent ads for somebody, right? So if now this ain't you, but it, let's say just in general, if someone was actually, cause in this, in this case, I'm running, I'm requesting access to the business page so I can run one single ad. But if I was actually bringing on a client where they want to, want me to run ads for them every month, then what I would do is I would request access to their ad account. So right here, we're requesting access to their page so you can run the ad from your ad account, one-time thing. But again, if, it, if I was running more than one ad for that person, I would click on ad accounts to the left, ad accounts, and then I would request access to that person's ad account. I'd hit the blue button, add, and this, this is right here. You would go request access to an ad account because you'd yeah. be assuming that they already have their business manager set up. They already have their ad account set up. So if they do, then right here, you're requesting access to an ad account. And so you just follow the steps with that. You request access to their ad account. Now you can run everything from your end, but in the top left, Go back to the, the three lines, click the three lines, the top left, go back to ads manager. So if you requested access to somebody's ad account, that's what you would see in the top left over here. So mm -hmm. what you would do is you would hit that drop down, top left, hit the drop down, and then you would see, no, the drop down, best WA properties, the drop down. You would see their ad account right there. And you would just click it. And now the ad is running from their ad account. Their credit card is tied to that ad account, but you're able to access everything from yours. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. That's what so, I will not be doing. <laughs> yeah. You won't be doing that part, but for those that are actually doing that part, yeah, that's how you do it. And then same thing. You can always remove yourself once you're done as well. So.
that's how to request access to a business page and to an ad account.